good to see you back, Director. We're about to arrive at the Burning Moon Festival. It's operated by an old fellow, Leonard Moon. A notorious eccentric and, reportedly, rather neurotic in the not-so-good sense. Besides an awful amount of noise, chemicals, rampant fornication, and various other sapient indulgences, I can't even begin to imagine what more we might encounter. You know, once upon a time, Mr. Ryan was nearly decapitated at one of these things. Total madhouse. Director, welcome to the show. I am pleased to report that our acoustic barriers are fully engaged, and we are thus safe from any potential cerebral hemorrhaging. The dull thump, thump, thump you can hear is coming from the Burning Moon Festival. Named for, well, I suppose you can look out the window. Wow, it's so bright! Uh, Heel, why are they setting the moon on fire? Maybe it's just one of life's many thrilling mysteries. Get the mop. Our contract is for the duration of the festival, which is split between various acts. I'll pop that information up on the objectives window. We're expecting calls from Leonard Moon, the festival's owner, as the revelries develop. Wow, man, that's a turnout. I'm gonna give a big wet hug to all the planets and people in the galaxy. If you don't set something on fire, I am gonna kick you out. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, that'll be him. Wonderful chap. A very clever and handsome fellow, by all accounts. Never met him myself. Wow, hey, um, so things are already popping off down here, and some kind of metal situation has happened, but not in a good way. We kind of want to get this cleared up before people start getting spooked that the festival is dangerous or something. So yeah, uh, oh, 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 open up when you can, please. Thanks a bunch. It does look rather gnarly down there, Director. Though, now that I think of it, Ms. Orion has been working on a rather illuminating new piece of technology. Yeah. Ms. Orion is on the line for you, Director. She's rather keen to bang on about lasers. The call remains, Director. Laser surgery. Scalpels weren't cutting it, so to speak. So, we switched over to high-intensity mining lasers to handle some of the crustier conditions people come down with. As it turns out, having industrial energy devices blasting away at your skin made people anxious. So I also took the initiative to make it a kind of immersive musical experience. Kind of like dressing up an MRI machine as a pirate ship. I'm not sure how Ms. Orion managed to turn lasers into a healthcare solution, but here we are. Let's build some so that we can treat our incoming patients. We are ready to open up at your command, Director.
Our patience awaits, Director. Are we ready? Excellent. I'll let Mr. Moon know that we're operating and ready to receive patients from the festival. Oh, hey, you guys are open now. Apparently, that's that's good, actually, because people were, like, dying down, down here. My security guards are going to try and get them up to you, but a lot of them are very heavy from having metal all over their face, so we'll get them to you when we can. Thanks. Our first patients are arriving now, Director. Should they have access to a reception desk and a diagnosis room, they may begin their adventure of not prematurely dropping dead. So we got all the people who got encased in liquid metal rounded up, and they've been, like, aggressively shoved into your shells. Uh, so they're on their way now. Please fix them. Uh, we need their post-festival reviews for our socials. Thanks! with liquid metal have just arrived. Our first patients are beginning to arrive, and some of them are species we've not yet encountered. Ms. Orion's uploaded a couple of dossiers for us to get acquainted with. The Dai and I are a plant-based species. They're often loners, vagrants, artists, explorers. 
And their family dynamic has a lot to do with their isolation. They're created by a living planet. It won't talk to them. It won't give them purpose. They just pop out of the ground without a reason for their existence. Despite their solitary nature, other species really, really like being around them. Pheromones or something, who knows? Ooh, it aches. Kuba Bali. These hearty sauroids are patient, precise, and durable. They rarely need a break, and it takes their bladders an almost supernaturally long time to fill up. So there's that. They adore order, and live in discreet tribes, or with their own rituals, which have been brought into a cultural structure known as concatenated ordering. The exact details of how that all works aren't entirely understood, but it seems to work for them, so more power to them. You guys are just lasering the metal off our crowd? That's so cool, I'm not even sure if I care if they die. I guess we hired the right people, huh?
half of those guys are better now, which is great. Also, they were in the cheap seats, so if you kind of want to take a break, I'm sure it'll be fine. on handling that emergency. It's in the bag. Uh, Mr. Moon is apparently occupied by his exhausting labors, but he's provided a pre-recorded message for you. I'll play it now. In the event that you guys do a great job, hey, wow, great job. Thanks for doing uh, whatever it is you did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great for the festival. Thanks, here's money. Um, goodbye. Hello. It's me again. I think I brought you the right bits. If not, it might just be bog rolls and videotapes. We are receiving another call from our client. There's an issue with a singer, apparently. I'll chuck it in. That one's new. Pick that up just for you. Fancy that one. Smashing. Hey, it's me again. Um, so one of our headline acts, Twiggy Pop or something, is sick, like, big time. She's already finished her set, so it's not the worst thing if she dies, I guess. It wouldn't be great for our media coverage, though, so please keep her alive for, like, two hours or so. Thanks. Yes. What a delightful fellow. Uh, director, when it comes to VIP treatments, the faster we treat the patient concerned, the better our rewards will be. It's probably worth pulling out all the stops to make sure Twiggy gets the best and fastest treatment possible. See you around, space. Wow! Heal! Twiggy Pop has arrived! I think she makes the best harsh noise in the galaxy. Merit, you have no idea who this person is. Welcome to the station, ma'am. A machine, huh? Well, nice to meet you, mate. So, looks like I ran into Festacrosis bacteria at the festival, and it's eaten off about half my face. Any chance you could fix this? Of course. We'll get your ailment seen to as quickly as we can. Assuming we have seats, you're welcome to sit in one of them. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. Why does everything smell of chlorine? So, you found out what's wrong with her? Some kind of flesh-eating bacteria? Okay, great. Keep that to yourselves, please. I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened.
Hi! Thanks for keeping me alive and everything. The music scene is a mess of dodgy contracts and corporate control. And I'd rather do something more meaningful with my life. Seems like you guys know what you're doing, and I used to be a doctor. So I want to join up. I've sent your machine my resume. Hey, director. I'm Twiggy Pop. I started life as a doctor, working in the core regions. Tough gig, but it's made me pretty good at the job. Also, people really like my singing. Not sure why, but it makes anyone nearby better at their work. More focused. Anyway, that's me. Thanks for taking me on, director. It's nice to get back to doing something I actually care about. Welcome to the team, Dr. Pop! Oh, thanks, little guy. All right, I'll go get changed. Any chance of a cappuccino? I don't think that exists, but I'll try. Director, we've acquired our first consultant. They're permanent additions to your team, traveling with us from hospital to hospital. Let's open the consultant window to bring Dr. Pop in now. This is our consultant roster, which will allow us to bring consultants into the hospital. Let's bring Dr. Pop into the hospital now. And there she is. Hey, Director. Glad I can get down to work. Uh, Medi, how's that coffee looking? I'm sorry, Twiggy, but Heel says coffee is illegal and that we'd all die. I said nothing of the sort. Director, consultants are quite different from our other staff members. Let's inspect Dr. Pop to find out more. Dr. Pop, like all consultants, is a remarkably effective clinician who can expertly operate any of our rooms. As consultants earn experience, they gain powerful, unique abilities. And sometimes you need to make hard choices as to which ones they acquire. You can see the perks Twiggy has in her skill tree. And that's everything you need to know about that. Let's get cracking, shall we? Hey, um, I got a message from Twiggy that everything went okay with her treatment, which sounds good. Uh, and also that she's quit the music business, so I have seven executives here who are using circular breathing to shriek non-stop like a ghoul. Ask her, um, not to do that, maybe. Thanks. Hello there. I hope you're all well. Having a gander. Director, Dr. Pop is calling about a psychotic break amongst the fest.
responsible goers, which, judging by the current set list, seems entirely justified. Director, it seems people are falling prey to some kind of psychosis. A fear of space flight or something? They're on their way, and they're just constantly screaming inside the ambulance. Ah, a psychological condition. Ms. Orion's been preparing for this eventuality. She'll be in touch with the details. The Dreamarium! So, we arranged a trade deal with a planet ruled by psychic clams. In exchange for an unknown quantity of an unknown substance, they've lent us their services as therapists, basically with a doctor as an intermediary. These creatures can dive into the depths of our patients' minds, rearrange their neural networks, and slurp out any lingering negative emotion. No issue so far. And the treatments have proven incredibly effective in testing. Sure would be nice to remember what our contract with the clams was, though. Sounds like it might... the trick. Once we've got some of those rooms set up, I'll dive right in. Could be kind of trippy. Is it? Catch you in the void. Some patients with the aforementioned space phobia have arrived. Or oh. <laughs> what's that? Seems like you guys enjoy a good pun around here. Well, <laughs> I just think that's wonderful. Space fright. Uh, spectacular work, Miss Pop. Thanks, Heel. Oh, yes. No, no, no. Space fright. Hey, guys. Uh, so some randos decided to weld rocket boosters to some asteroids, and I couldn't stop them, and now a space rock is headed straight towards your station. Uh, sorry, and good luck with all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 